Play is the name we give to children's inborn wish to explore their world. It's what children do when they are choosing, they're actively engaged, and they're doing what they're doing for their own reasons and in their own way. It's something that's innate in children. They have a need and desire to play. They're kind of exploring uncertainty. They're taking themselves beyond what they know and understand and into what they're curious about and want to find out about. You know, one of the ways that children learn all sorts of things is through making mistakes. And if children never make mistakes, they don't get that feedback. Um, they don't have that experience that they can build on. In essence, I think children need space and time throughout their lives when they can play, um, and they need adults around them who have an understanding about the value and, and, and kind of what's lying behind their play. It's how they learn, it's how they develop new ideas, new skills, and they use them in this safe environment. So what play is from the very early stages is that real-life interaction, and it happens naturally. There is a, a drive to learn in every tiny baby, and what we've got to do is nurture that drive rather than shut it down. We know that there's lots of different types of play which are very important for children's development. You know, you have the active play, and that develops all their gross motor, all the big movements. Um, so the running, the climbing, um, negotiating space and obstacles. They have exploratory play that develops their fine motor skills and their sensory integration. It develops their eye-hand coordination, the ability to be able to finish a puzzle and hold a pencil for writing. The basic play skill that children need for language is called representational play and then imaginative pretend play. This is when babies, one-year-olds, will be holding up an empty cup to pretend to take a drink or they'll hold something up to their ear and pretend to talk. And you usually find that this play coincides with the emergence of first words. There's a very strong link between play and language. So for example, um, turn taking in play, so rolling the ball, dad rolls the ball, baby rolls the ball, dad rolls the ball, baby ball rolls the ball. My turn, your turn, putting shapes in a shape sorter, my turn, your turn. All that turn taking will eventually turn into um, taking turns in conversation. Children need to develop very good play skills in order to develop good imagination to develop good language, to then be able to use this language in their speaking, but also in their writing as well. Children's social development, learning to get along with the other kids, learning how to make up if anything goes wrong, choosing what they want to do, finding out whether it works, learning to deal with triumph and disaster. Almost everything that we become as human beings has got its roots in play. Children like to test themselves. They like to, you know, take risks to seek out physical challenges. And that that's a valuable learning process. The big thing is to make sure that children get lots of opportunities to play out with other children using their imagination. If that doesn't happen, you may very well have repercussions later in terms of that they will cease to have the will to explore and the will to learn. بینندگان گرامی با سلامی گرم به شما به برنامه دیگر از مادر و کودک خوش آمدید. برنامه امروز اختصاصا در رابطه با اهمیت بازی و بازی کردن با بچه ها در خانواده و بهداشت روان خواهد بود. امروز مهمان گرامی من CEO Founder of Giggles and Hugs آقای جوی پارسی خواهند بود و ایشون دوست گرامی در رابطه با تجربیاتشون با مؤسسه Giggles and Hugs و این آوردن کامیونیتی آوردن جامعه امون خانواده ها بچه هاشون به سنتر ایشون به رستوران ایشون و اینکه تجربیاتی که داشتن در رابطه با بازی کردن بچه ها و چگونه بازی کردنشون و اهمیت بازی 
در خانواده و رشد روانی و روحی و بهداشت روان اونها جوی پارسی مستر جوی پارسی ویلکم تو مانتا تینکیو خیلی مچکرم مرسی خیلی خوشحالم از این که امروز میتونیم در رابطه با این اهمیت بازی صحبت بکنیم با هم میدونم که شما در گذشته در فایننس بودین و بکراندتون منیج کردن صدها میلیون و بیلیون دلار بوده بنابراین از کسی که از یک جای انترپنیورالشپ از یک جایی که بزنس بزنسمن بودین و اهمیت بازی و خانواده رو دیدین در این به صلاح تولید و کریت کردن و خلاقیت نشون دادن در این رستوران گیگلز اند هاگز و چینی که دارین به ما یه مقدار توضیح بدین how did that come about این ایده گیگلز اند هاگز چجوری شروع شد و شما چجوری از یک نقطه خیلی بیشتر بزنس و بزنس اورینت تصمیم گرفتین شیفت بکنین به سوی یو نو گیگلز اند هاگز و این ایده های گیگلز اند هاگز اولا میخواستم از همه I want to apologize to everyone, but I came up far, seems زیاد خوب نیست I'm going to try to speak Farsi as much as I possibly can, but I متاسفانه من فارسیم خوب نیست Giggles and Hugs شروع شد به خاطر این که من و زنم یه جایی لازم داشتیم که بتونیم بریم قضا بخوریم بدون این که هی hey, از مردم بترسیم که آخ بچمون مثلا جیغ زد یا آخ بچمون یه چیزی رو شکوند یا آخ بچمون یعنی throw tantrum or you know being what a child does <laughs> unfortunately uh, going out to eat uh, has become uh, in particular with toddlers uh, بچه های مثلا یک ساله دو ساله سه ساله uh, خیلی سخت شده uh, not, not because of uh, going out to eat with a baby is difficult, but because the response that we get from others mm-hmm. makes it very difficult. I mean, when someone doesn't have a child, or for example, people who are a little bit more interested, maybe they remember what they were doing when they were a child or two years old. When you go out with your children, with your family, مردم فکر میکنن بچه هم بحثی مثل یه دونه گرون اپ مثل یه ادالت بشینه معدب حرف نزنه اینو کاری نکنه ولی بچه دو ساله بایستی بلنشه و برخص و داد بزن و شاد باشه That's what three year olds are supposed to be like و متاسفانه تو لس آنجلس نه فقط تو لس آنجلس البته تو دنیا خیلی کم جاهایی هست که آدم میتونه با بچه هاش بره و راحت بتونه بشینه بدون اینکه نگران مثلا آخ مثلا بچه هم اینو, اینو شیکوند یا این, این آبش ریخت برای اینکه آدم خجالت میکشه گیگلز اون هاک شروع شده بود برای اینکه من و زنمون رفته بودیم غذا بخوریم با بچه ها و دختر اون موقع دخترم بود در حدود سه سالش رفته بودیم یه رسولان خیلی قشنگی نشسته بودیم سفارش دادیم بعد از اینکه یک ساعت منتظر تیبل بودیم و اینا نشستیم ولی یزمین هر کاستیوم آنه سندرلا کاستیوم and she wanted to twirl to see her skirt come up from the ground as she twirled she tripped and hit the table that was next to us spilling the wine این شراب ریخت مثلا روی آقا و آقایی که نشسته بود به جایی که مثلا آقاه بگه اشکالی نداره میدونم چرختیه چقدر سخته با بچه آقای خیلی اخ... عصبانی و اخمش تو همو مم. مثلا چرا مثلا اجازه دادی به بچهت بلند شه مثلا مم. خب این که خیلی کار اشتباهیه اشتباهیه ولی خب از پرنس وی گیت امبرست ام سوری یو نو یو یو اپولوجایز بزنین براتون غذا بخرم لمی بای یور درینک لمی But unfortunately, as parents, we do what we all do. Mm-hmm. You've been there. You have many, uh, you know, three kids, and, mm-hmm. and, and most people who have children has mm-hmm. been through this experience. You know, you do what we all do, and that's let's eat as quickly as we can so we can leave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so my wife and I were no different. We, we, we sat in the car. We were both very upset mm-hmm. because people were making us feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. uh, and embarrassed because my child did something that any child would do. Mm-hmm. And out of frustration and anger, 
my wife turned to me, uh, Shimon, you, you know my, my wife. Ben. She turned to me and said, I wish there was a restaurant where we could go and eat mm -hmm. as parents, as adults, mm -hmm. where the children can run around and play and be children mm -hmm. and do all the things and play and you know be entertained, that all the things that children want in order to be occupied. That way they can be happy and we can be happy. And so the genesis of Giggles and Hugs began mm -hmm. with the idea of a place where we don't have to worry about what other people think because your child is being a child. Mm -hmm. So you took a highly stressful situation, which like you say, many of us have been there, done that. It's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Um, especially if you come from a more conservative background. Um, you know, I come from a more liberal background. I was allowed to play. My parents just choose the environments and we didn't go to fancy restaurants. Mm -hmm. But um, my husband, he comes from a more conservative background. So he, uh, um, mannerism, having good manners, Bad. not getting up, bazi nakardan, you know, khayli mohem bud to khanevade. It's upbringing, right? Vali khub vaqti ma mibinim ke the power of play. Vaqti ke motakhassisin be ma migan ke chagadr mohem dar salhay avvaliye. Bacheha az tariq bazi va ishtebah kardan dar bazi rosht bokonan. Magzeshun develop bokone. How beautiful is that? Baraye bachei ke age appropriate ages and stages of development betune biofte khak bazi kone shen bazi kone tu ye restaurant be qol shoma be charkhe va dress libas cinderella sho un juri ke tu imagination shas experience bokone shayad shaker ro var dare bekhad mix kone scientist bashe sar miz miz sham va inha hame az un eshtebahatiye ke vaghti ma mizarim bachche ha mun kudakanemun dar sal hay avval انجام بدن و یاد بگیرن و بهشون یاد بدیم من نمیگم که نه بذاریم هر کاری که بچه ها دوست دارن بکنم on the contrary um, همونطور که متخصصین هم اشاره میکنن خیلی مهمه که اون ادالت در کنار بچه در کنار کودک با او او رو همراهی بکنه همکاری بکنه بهش بگه و محیط گیگلز اند هاکس اون چیزی که من خیلی انجوی میکنم هر موقع که میام رستوران شما و تو گیگلز اند هاکس بازی میکنیم که در سالهای اولیه بیشتر این کارو میکردیم اینه که این آمبیانس اونجا وجود داره که خانواده در کنار بچه ها اون کاری که ایج اپروپریت استیج اپروپریت پر دیولپمنت هستش انجام بدن با هم دیگه بازی کنن بدون برن پایرت uh, شپ از uh, این سلایدا um, بیان پایین بپرن تو تو پا و این دیس از دی بیوتی اف پلی اند دی پاور اف پلی و چقدر um, مهمه که شما روی همچین سوشال ایشو uh, که تو اون لحظه خودت تجربه کردی با دورسا با خانومتون و خانواده تصمیم گرفتین to take action to do something proactive you didn't say oh well let's let's you know find a place or you initiated you took leadership and you completely changed your career <laughs> yeah well you know um it it, it, it you know, I didn't plan on changing my career. The, the, the thought was mm -hmm. that we needed a place for our sphere of, uh, of, of friends, Got you know, uh, yourself yeah. and, and others in, in, our, in our group, uh, to have a place where we can go in, with our children and not have to constantly be worried about, oh my God, mm -hmm. you know, they can be who they want to be. They mm -hmm. can be the, the kids that they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's now more so than ever with your help uh, and, and as we educate ourselves even more, we now know that play is imperative to a healthy child. Yeah. You cannot have a healthy child mm -hmm. unless the child is able and, and capable of being free to play. Yeah. You know, when you say to someone, a, a little two-year-old, no, 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 don't play with that or don't touch this, or don't, mm -hmm. you're saying don't be a two-year-old child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like someone taking you to, well, I'll use an example for myself mm -hmm. because I like this. Someone taking you to a basketball game. Kobe Bryant shoot cat, nemituni bolanchi, nemituni das bezani, nemituni abejo bohori. It's like, what? what? <laughs> Shara mana bebarin birun pas aslan. It's the same thing for a little baby. Uh, once, once we saw mm -hmm. how much demand there was, I can make my mob giggles and hugs of what cat him aslan. Shook uh, man mm -hmm. with the with the amount of uh, people. Or oh my god, this is incredible. We love this place. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was literally like 
uh, uh, like the Beatles had just come to Los Angeles mm -hmm. to play. I mean, mm -hmm. there's three, four hundred people uh, waiting in line, and it was, it was, it was, it was, it was like a rocket ship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, with, once that happened, then I realized we were onto something. Yeah. And I realized that there is so many other parents. Mm -hmm like yourself or myself, mm -hmm. that was yearning for a place mm -hmm. like Giggles and Hugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we, we, you know, once we once we launched them, the things that we thought of and planned mm -hmm. was, you know, we recognized very early on, because of my own uh, uh, being, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm at work. I get up at six, seven in the morning and take 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 care of the kids. They go, they're off to school. We're off to work, and we're busy with our regular normal lives. Sure. And when we come back, you know, the kids get home probably three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon after their 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 thing, and mm -hmm. I get home at five, six o'clock in the evening. And so we we really have only one or two hours a day to spend with our children. Mm -hmm. And so that two hour becomes imperative for us to play mm -hmm. and interact and bond exactly. and, and you know, get to know each other, yep. get yep. to hang out with each other. Right. Because if you don't do that, then, you know, it's like... You're missing out. On yeah. It. Yep. It's, what's, the, what's the point of being a parent if you're not going to be a parent? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think it's critical that, uh, that uh, you're, you have this, uh, this, uh, this show to focus on the importance of play. Yeah. So we're going to take a break, uh, take a look at a clip from Giggles and Hugs. We'll be back with some good questions and discussing the power of play. Stay with us. coming here for all the, all the fun uh, slides and the zip lines and all that. And I like the food. So it's good stuff, man. I think this concept is unbelievable. I wish it was around when I was a child. As a parent, I have uh, two young sons. We love this place. I also can play with my friends, which is really fun that I know. And I like this place because there's so much room to دوستان به برنامه مادر و کودک خوش آمدید. با من دوست گرامی آقای جویی پارسی فاوندر و سی ای او اف گیگلز اند هاگز هستند در رابطه با اهمیت بازی در رشد خان، خانواده، رشد کودکان، بهداشت روانی کودکان و خانواده صحبت می کنیم. خب به دنباله بحثمون ادامه میدیم و اینکه چقدر مهمه که ما واقعا در سالهای اولیه به خصوص پنج، شش، هفت، هشت سال اول در رابطه با بازی و اینکه بچه ها بتونن اشتباه بکنن در بازی، در بازی یاد بگیرن، در بازی با مادر و پدر و معلم و دوست نگوشیشن یاد بگیرن، همکاری یاد بگیرن، کامینیکیشن و گفتگو یاد بگیرن، یاد بگیرن که کی نوبتشونه، کی باید منتظر نوبتشون بشن، اهمیت بازی 
در بهداشت روانی کودک و رشد کودک بسیار بسیار مهمه و باید ما در جامعه امون در کامیونیتی در هر کجا که هستیم واقعا به عنوان یک جامعه به این اهمیت بدیم چرا که بافت سلول های عصبی مغز در سال های اولیه رابطه مستقیم به بهداشت روانی کودک در آینده داره یعنی اگر ما میخوایم بچه هایی داشته باشیم که سالم هستند تعادل روحی روانی دارند خوشحال و شاد هستند علاقه به زندگی و همکاری و دوستی و صلح و صلحجویی و صلحخویی دارن این رو باید از ابتدا شروع بکنیم در سالهای اولیه شروع بکنیم و بهش اهمیت بدیم بهش اهمیت بدیم در خانواده در محیطمون و هر بزنس و هر کسی که واقعا این کانسپت رو داره کمک میکنه و میخواد پیش ببره پیش رو هستش در این کار سپورت بکنیم و ارزش قائل باشیم خب جای عزیز برگردیم در رابطه با صحبتمون شما الان سالهای بسیاری هستش که از 2007 درسته در از گیگلز ان هاگز شاهد بودین از اینکه خانواده ها اومدن به اونجا و بازی کردن و غذای سالم نوش جان کردن به ما بگین تجربیاتتون در این سالها چی بوده و چه نکته هایی بیشتر برای شما جالب بوده که میتونین با بینندگانمون امروز شیر بکنیم البته خب گفتم فکر میکنم خیلی چیزا عوض شده از 15 20 30 سال پیش فکر میکنم Uh, I think that today we're, we as grown-ups are a lot more educated and so we understand a lot more about you know we now know you know we, we can't eat unhealthy food mm-hmm. we whereas not that we didn't know before but we didn't put as much importance on it uh, you know childhood obesity now we're seeing Mrs. Obama uh, talk uh, and go around the country and talk about how important it is to be active and to, to play and to exercise and to eat right and all those things And so uh, I think we now recognize that uh, these things a lot more today. Uh, one of the, you know, and I think this is all great. One of the areas where, where I want to sort of touch upon and discuss, uh, it, 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 and this happens in particularly uh, a lot more with, with, with Iranian women, Nemi <laughs> uh, it, it does. Uh, uh, of course, this is my experience, and I'm, I'm sure that my experience is pretty prevalent across the board because mm-hmm. what goes on inside of a Giggles and Hugs is no different than what goes on at a park mm-hmm. or at, at home or anywhere else. It's a else. natural selection. You're taking one um, environment, Giggles and Hugs, and you're sharing your observations. That's right. right. Yep. And, and that observation is, you know, a child is one year or two هنوز یاد نگرفته مثلا شیر how to share mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, خب یه بچه مثلا دو ساله یه دونه نوبت اف... منتظر نوبتش uh-huh. باشه this is one of the things that we were just talking about yes. how important it is because you learn mm-hmm. through play mm-hmm. که مثلا نوبت شماست mm-hmm. یا, یا, یا این که میتونی با هم دیگه بازی mm-hmm. بکنیم mm-hmm. یا این که میتونیم با هم دیگه مثلا uh, یه تیم باشیم mm-hmm. uh, خب این چیزا یواش یواش از سن mm-hmm. یک ساله دو ساله سه ساله آدم یاد میگیره yes. ولی متاسفانه خب uh, it takes time و اینکه مادر و پدر این فرصت ها رو به وجود بیارن و جامعه این فرصت رو به وجود بیاره اگر شما در کودکی یاد نگیری که نوبتت منتظر نوبتت بشی و به صلاح اهمیت این در بازی رو درک نکنی و درونی نکنی مسلمه که پس فردا که تینیجر هستی یا ادالت هستی نمیتونی منتظر نوبتت باشی exactly وقتی right. که همه صف وای میسن میخوای بودی بری جلو جلوی صف exactly right. yeah. you know, uh, there's, a, there's a saying mm-hmm. in, in English and that's patience is a virtue there's you learn that that's mm-hmm. not something that you just uh, you know you just somehow uh, uh, you know uh, you know pick up you have to learn that and you learn that through years of playing um uh, خب گفتم خیلی چیزای خوبیه که uh, takes place in giggles and hugs but یکی دو تا چیزایی هم که خیلی خوب نیست مثلا مثلا خیلی خیلی روزها شده که مثلا یه بچه دو ساله با یه بچه دو ساله دیگه داره بازی میکنه و این بچه دو ساله مثلا یه اسباب بازی برمی داره که اون بچه دو ساله دیگه هم بخواد به جایی که مثلا منتظرشه خب بچه دو ساله هنوز یاد نگرفته پیشنس میاد اینو برمی داره و اون پسور دیگر هم مثلا هل میده یا اینکه مثلا موشو میکشه خب 
این خیلی چیز معمولی این نرماله it's very normal and it's it's part of growing up right? this is how you learn sure. but, but این موقع است که آدم مثلا مادر یا پدر بس بگی نه این کار درستی نیست مثلا اینجوری بحث کرد مثلا بس این ناز بکنی یا وایسی یا منتظرشی متاسفانه uh, خب گفتم it's not just Iranian uh, woman this happens to everybody mm-hmm. but in particular I think mm-hmm. z- Irani, uh, بیشتر, مثلا, they have a little bit more of a oomph mm-hmm. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for uh, you know, <laughs> they become very protective mm-hmm. Mesa, mm-hmm. Uh, like a grizzly bear <laughs> You know, مثلا این مادر میگه که این بچه چرا مثلا بچه من هول داده یه دفعه مادرا با هم دیگه شروع میشه. It's over over nothing, you know. It's okay مثلا این بچه این نصب بازی اون رو یه گرفته. بچه حیف برای اینکه این فرصتی هستش که شما پیس لرنینگ یا سلف جویی و سلف خویی رو بیاموزین و بگین که ببین خب میفهمم الان شاید برای اون بچه دو ساله که الان اینو میخواد و فقط اینو میخواد شاید سخت باشه ولی ممکنه که بتونی ترانزیشن بکنی یا یه تکتیک و یه استراتژی رو به کار ببری که اون یاد بگیره که همکاری بکنه بله. ولی وقتی که مادرا اینجا با هم این تنگل میشن و شروع میکنن به قول معروف شاخ به شاخ شدن <تصفح> <تصفح> شاخ به شاخ شدن بعد این خب مشکل زاهه برای اینکه بچه ها دارن یاد میگیرن که آها. اینجا مادرا با هم دیگه دعوا میکنن و سر یه چیزی که هنوزم براشون کلیر نیست هنوزم کلاریفیکیشن یا شفافیت ندارن تو ذهنشون به خاطر مغزشون و رشد مغزشون اصلا نمیدونن که برای چی حالا مادرها دارن با هم دیگه دعوا میکنن و خشن رفتار میکنن Exactly yeah. right. I mean, Bijan, you know, instead of setting an example of all the things that you're supposed to do with a child, yeah, you're setting an example of all the things that you're not supposed to do <laughs> in, uh, for a child. Cool. And so, uh, and, I'm, and I've always wondered, Chira, Chira, for example, if you have a child who is a child, ببخشید اگر بچه دوستتون بود مهم. مثلا خونه با هم دیگه مهم. شما و دوستتون با هم دیگه خونه بودیم مثلا دو تا بچه ها دارن با هم دیگه بازی میکنن درسته. اگر این دو تا بچه ها با هم دیگه دعوا بکنن خب شما خیلی درست با هم دیگه با هم دیگه با هم, با هم دیگه باشه نه این کار خوبی نیست مثلا چرا زدین and it becomes a no big deal it's a, it's a non event sure. ولی if it's a stranger mm-hmm. and it's the Again, we're talking about two-year-olds here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two-year-olds do this all day long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if you don't know the mother of that mm-hmm, child, mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you mm-hmm. becomes, you know, it becomes this. Mm-hmm. Hey, your kid did this to my kid, and mm-hmm. how dare he do this? And and I think that that's the that's the exact wrong thing to do. Mm-hmm. That's the exact wrong example to set for a child. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I was I was thinking. To explore as to why is it? Why is it? It's okay when it's a friend mm-hmm. pushes your son. Mm-hmm. It's okay, mm-hmm. but if it's a stranger who does the same thing, it becomes a bigger issue. Well, between two فرهنگ ما این موضوع ظاهر و موضوع ظاهر باتن و اینکه آبرو موضوع آبرو تو سیف فیس آبرو خب خیلی مهمه. بنابراین ممکنه من دارم حدس میزنم ممکنه وقتی که ما توی رابطه هستیم رابطه اجتماعی با هم دیگه از روی آبرو هم که شده یا حفظ آبرو شاید خیلی با هم درستتر برخورد بکنیم وقتی در جایی هستیم که شاید با یه غریبه داریم برخورد میکنیم نگران آبرومون نیستیم خب برای اینکه تو اگه منو نمیشناسی من میتونم با تو یه خورده خشنتر رفتار کنم و خب به خاطر این ممکنه یه خورده با خشونت بیشتر و میدونم خیلی از اوقاتم در گگلز اند هاگز یا خیلی از این جاهایی که مامانا دور هم جمع میشن مامانا بیخوابی کشیدن استرس دارن بچه ها بچه ها خیلی باهاشون در به اصطلاح کشماکش و اون استرس های تنش های تربیتی بوده و خب از روی اون استرس ها هستش که مادرها خیلی ریاکتیو تر هستن شما در گیگلز اند هاگز این مورد رو یا این برخوردار رو چه جوری هندل میکنید چیکار میکنید خب کار تنها کاری که از از ما برمیاد اینه که با هم دیگه حرف بزنیم درست. مثلا به به این مادر بگیم که ببین بچه‌ها وی بی کام ان اسنس د تیچر ببین بچه‌ها دیس از دیس از نورمال د پیس میکرز دیس از نورمال کیدز دو دیس یو ار سپوزد تو سیت ان اگزامپل فور یور چایلد اینستد اف آرگوینگ اند یلینگ یو نو اند دیس هاپنز موستلی وت 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 مادرز ولی خب پدرام هستن پدرام خیلی از هم دیگه عصبانی شدن ولی 
پدر نمیاد با مادر دعوا بکنه میفهمی چی میگم معمولا مادر با مادر دعوا حال میشه خب ما هم با ما هم باسه بریم باشون حرف بزنیم خب خانم مثلا بچه است اشکالی نداره یو نو اتس کام وی بای یو کپ اف کافی اور اور لیتس کام تینگز داون لیتس سیت ان اگزامپل فور اول دی کیدز اند نورمالی ایت دازنت گت یعنی شده بعضی از اوقات با هم در, درگیر میشن پلیس اومدن ما دو سه دفعه پلیس رو باعث صدا میکردیم چرا به ما مثلا یه خانم دیگه هم بودش که مثلا و ایرانی بودن فقط یا خب نه ایرانی هم همه همه از همه جا هست ولی بله. ولی با ایرانیا من بیشتر, بیشتر دیدم گفتم و چند چند تا گیگلز ان هاگز الان هستش میدونم که اکسپاند دارین الان وی بک داون تو 3 چهار تا بود شدیم سه تا الان دو هست گلندیل هست تو گلندیل گالری ما دو تا پنگا ما هست و تو سنچی سیتی ما اف یو لیو ان دی ال ای اریا یو پرابلی کلوز تو ون اف دی گیگلز ان هاگز Um, و خیلی میدونم سوسایتی ایرونیا نزدیک هستن به شما میدونم که برای خیلی از شما مادر و پدرها که دنبال یه محیطی هستین که میتونن بچه ها بازی بکنن میتونن تولداشون اونجا بگیرن میدونم الان موضوع تولد و اینکه تولد با باجت انجام دادن خیلی موضوع هات هات امروز از از هات تاپک من گیگل زن هاگز و هر برثدهی که بوده خیلی همیشه فانه و یو کن do it within a budget, which I love. Yeah. Um, so that's great that you're close to serving um, the a multicultural uh, society. Um, you have special events. I know for Halloween, you, you just had a special we, event. We do. Well, I mean, aside from the special events, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, یاد بگیرن بی انترتین پلی بکنن مثلا <تصفيق> یه روزی مثلا کریوکی که مثلا بخونن uh, برای یه بچه دو ساله سه ساله خیلی امپورتنته که بش مثلا جلوی یه گروپ مثلا بی سی نفر وایس مثلا بخونه خیلی 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 خجالتی هستن اعتماد به نفسش رو میبره بالا درسته اکزکلی exactly. و خیلی خجالتی هستن <تصفيق> بچه های مثلا دو سه ساله چهار <تصفيق> ساله یا اینکه uh, uh, خب براشون سخته و اگر بکنن we encourage the parents to you know clap for them encourage them uh, so we every half hour we'll do whether it's karaoke whether it's a dance party or sing-alongs or face painting or arts and crafts مثلا قبل از اینکه برسم به استودیو امروز مثلا we had cupcake decorating uh, so the, or we'll do create your own pizza you make your own pizza so we try to do all the things that First and foremost is is uh, is uh, you know uh, playful, mm-hmm. uh, but more importantly, uh, uh, or as importantly as being playful, we want them to learn. Um, so uh, we try to encourage all the things uh, that we can to help parents bond with their children, mm-hmm. play with their children. Even in to in Ruzama, we're 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 all Khodamam. I'm was, guilty of this yeah. as well. We're always glued to our phones like or to our, uh, you know, iPad. You know, had by Cheshi have had that. Does that mean they got going in? But got iPad to that station. Meaning party, for example, be joined. For example, with them, they have to be present. Yeah, be busy, be present. You know, they're they're Literally. sitting. Uh, We took a conscious decision mm-hmm. uh, at Giggles and Hugs not to have video games. Mm. Uh, you know, arcade games. You want to play for example, Chuck E. Cheese, but not arcade games. You want to play for example, anywhere you want to go, for the most part, you have arcade games. Of course, we have, for example, this Xbox and Nintendo, because many of them are very good. Exactly right. Connect, for example, to the right or to the right or to the right. از این چود و خب بچه ها ببینیم most families have two or three children درسته بسه خودم من باز دوباره I'm a customer of giggles and hugs myself now because I have a new baby you know new son three year old son and for a while there you know my seven or eight year old or nine year old is like I don't want to go to giggles and hugs anymore because I'm too old for it I don't want to hang out with the two year olds and so Uh, now uh, we have these 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 games because the 12 year old wants to play these video games mm-hmm. uh, and if I don't have it there the 12 year old uh, says you know I don't want to go to giggles and hugs so that little my little brother can play so we try to accommodate everybody mm-hmm. uh, as much as possible mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's wonderful um, the concept of giggles and hugs um, 
برای کل خانواده و اینکه خانواده بتونن در کنار هم یه اوقاتی رو به قول شما یکی دو ساعتی رو که ما داریم قبل از اینکه وقت خواب باشه در کنار هم پیسفولی با آرامش بتونن کنار هم باشن غذای خوب بخورن بله. میدونم کوالتی غذا برای شما خیلی مهمه پروسست فود سرو نمی کنین بله. میدونم که اون اورگانیک اورگانیک بله همه چی اورگانیک فور دی موست پارت ایوریثینگ از اورگانیک ایوریثینگ از مید فرش دیلی این دی رستوران وی تری تو دو آل دی ثینگز دت وی وانت دو فور مای چیلدرن اند پرووایڈ دی سیم ثینگز فور یور چیلدرن Uh, you know, uh, if you if you if you go to my uh, website, the Giggles and Lux website, uh, Zanam, uh, God bless her, uh, wrote an incredible, uh, touching uh, sort of essay uh, as to when 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 our daughter, when our first daughter was born, how that sort of translated to every child being like our child. Mm-hmm. And so all the things that we do at Giggles and Hugs, we take into consideration that these are the things that we do for our children. Mm-hmm. And if we're doing it for our children, I'm sure it'll be good for your children. Yeah. At, from the cleanliness, uh, you know, we're very, very uh, hygienically, very clean. We, we sanitize everything from the food, from uh, the play, from everything that we do, we try to do so that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's my children are there. So mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. want to make sure that whatever they're enjoying, you're enjoying. Yeah. And I have witnessed this. Man, I know that Dorisa and you are really a family. And your children, all of you are a family. این رستوران و این به اصطلاح محیط رو پرورش دادین و میدین و براتون مهمه که یه کاری بکنین برای اجتماع برای جامعه که مثبت باشه، صلح آمیز باشه و کمک بکنه خانواده‌ها رو که رشد و پرورش سالم تری داشته باشن. So bravo to you. Merci, Congratulations. Thank you. Merci, thank you um, I like to shift gears a little bit. یه خورده درباره این بک‌گراند به اصطلاح اقتصادی این که شما um, you know, Uh, just to name a few, um, investment manager, entrepreneur, uh, Lehman Brothers as Navado Pinch to Navado Half, senior uh, VP, va kolan to ye business world di budin ke bishtar az si nafar shayad zir dast shoma kar mi kardan million ha dollar va billion shayad manage mi kardin. Banabarin az ye kam chin background of finance va business vakti shoma miyain. این um, uh, Giggles and Hugs الان در چه موقعیتی قرار گرفته uh, میدونم که uh, it's being traded yeah. right yeah. yeah so congratulations یه خورده به ما توضیح بدین برای کسانی که شاید میخوان یه همچین بزنسی رو شروع بکنن شاید در um, ایران در مدل ایست در کانادا uh, میخوان اینوست بکنن این um, داستان و این پروسه شما چه جوری بوده خب من my career started out as a as a financial advisor uh, I, as you as you said uh, I worked at Lehman Brothers before uh, Lehman collapsed uh, yeah. I was a financial advisor at Lehman uh, and, and worked myself up to becoming one of the top uh, top guys there and then I was eventually recruited by other firms and and so I became very successful in the finance world and part of my job was to raise capital for other companies and other ideas Uh, you know, uh, companies like Sobe Beverage Company or Net Zero. Some of these other uh, companies, you know, started out very small with just an idea. Mm-hmm. And that's how most ideas uh, or most companies start out with just an idea on a piece of napkin. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you sort of cultivate it the same way you cultivate a child. The same way you sort of, uh, you know, feed that child, you know, knowledge and experience and all the things. You do the same thing for a company. Mm-hmm. And so my job was to do that. Mm-hmm. My job was to identify companies, and, you know, raise capital for these companies and, and sort of baby them along mm-hmm. until they become, you know, big, big, big companies. The next Google or, mm-hmm. or what have you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, so the thought was, uh, uh, because of my knowledge, uh, when I, when I, when, when, And, and again, going back to the idea of giggles and hugs, mm-hmm. after experiencing a disaster with, with the kids, you know, and, and being really embarrassed and, and feeling, you know, feeling like, why is it that as a parent, I only have Chuck E. Cheese as an option? Mm-hmm. Why is it that, you know, if I'm, if I'm tall, if I'm short, if I want burgers, if I want steaks, if I want Mexican food, I have a billion options. Mm-hmm. I got, uh, whatever, whatever your thing is, whatever your niche is. Mm-hmm. But if you're a parent with children, nothing. Mm-hmm. Where do you go? Mm-hmm. Where do, what, what restaurant can I go where <laughs> I can sit and eat in peace? 
Right. And so when I realized that this was mm -hmm. something that I think not just I wanted, that all parents wanted, mm -hmm. I thought, well, why not nurture this idea mm -hmm. instead of raise capital or money for other people? Brilliant, yeah. Why not try to do this mm -hmm. myself? And I mm -hmm. thought this was a great idea. Mm -hmm. And so fortunately, again, uh, it turned out that we were right, that all parents wanted the same things that I wanted for my children. Mm -hmm. You want the same thing mm -hmm. that I want mm -hmm. for my children. And mm -hmm. so Giggles and Hugs grew and we were very fortunate. Uh, we have now the largest mall owners in America mm -hmm. uh, uh, sort of rolling out the red carpet for us. Uh, uh, within the next uh, within the next year or so, we'll mm -hmm. have six, eight more locations mm -hmm. up and running all along the West Coast. That who did this? Sata franchising uh, 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 location is going to go around the world, not just here in America. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell your viewers as well. Yeah, we have viewers across the globe. So anywhere from Dubai and uh, the Middle East um, to Canada and Europe. And so I'm sure they're watching. So it, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. So we have people contacting us mm -hmm. uh, every week mm -hmm. uh, saying, hey, we want a giggles and hugs in Dubai mm -hmm. or Istanbul, Turkey mm -hmm. or, or China or, or China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do have to fish. Yeah. Uh, they wanted giggles and hugs in, in, in Moscow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we were getting so literally every nook and cranny of the world. And, and, and for a while, I thought to myself, well, how do these people know about giggles and hugs? Mm -hmm. How do they know about me here in Los Angeles. How does someone in Istanbul, Turkey mm -hmm. know about me? And so I asked and we found out that people in Turkey, they read People Magazine or Us it's Magazine Thursday. or all these other uh, uh, magazines that we all love mm -hmm. to and enjoy mm -hmm. here. It's become one world. Yes. So what you do here in Los mm -hmm. Angeles, as you said, people in Dubai watch you. Yeah. And, and the fact that we're talking about giggles and hugs or play, people around the world are now able to watch us. So, it's becoming a much smaller world, a one flat world, and mm -hmm. it, it, this has become uh, uh, sort of a topic uh, uh, in the business world as well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to make a long story short, once we recognized the, the opportunity and, and, and the growth that we were experiencing, we realized that we needed to raise some more money. Mm -hmm. We knew that we needed to, to expand beyond just the one or two or three locations, and so we took the company public. Uh, so if your uh, if your viewers are interested in participating and investing in Giggles and Hugs, you can do so and, and buy our stock just mm -hmm. like you would buy any other stock. Right. You know, if you buy if you own uh, I don't know IBM or Google or Facebook uh, whatever mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. stocks you own, you could buy Giggles and Hugs too. Mm -hmm. uh, our symbol is G I G L. Okay. So uh, uh, so if you're if you think that Giggles and Hugs is something worthy and you think uh, the idea is a good idea and you mm -hmm. want to uh, sort of be a participant and 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 sort of ride the train with us, join the family, <laughs> and then you can do so and become a shareholder or an, or an investor and, and owner in the company. So okay. for us, it's been really gratifying because you know people really love what we're doing, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and so the one thing that I want to tell your viewers. If there's one advice that I can give everyone, and that is, just do it. Don't think about it. Don't think about, oh, I have to call this person, or I have to put together a business plan, or I have to do this, or I have to do that. I get that, but I make you take out of the book fit coining to launch a business. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do it. Miss a barrier, miss a hammer. Most people think about. I, I've had every other person that walks into Giggles and Hugs mm -hmm. says to me, "Oh, we were going to do this. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. thought about this." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The difference I think between the people that are successful and those that are just mediocre mm -hmm. is the people that are successful do things, mm -hmm. make it happen. Mm -hmm. Don't think about all the work that goes into it. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Just get up and do it. Just like Nike. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just do it. خیلی هم عالی چه صحبت های آموزنده ای برای خانواده ها و برای کسانی که شاید در آینده به فکر بزنسی هستند یا میخوان گیگلز ان هاگز رو در ایران، در دبی، در عمان، در قطر، در هر کجایی که با ما هستین باز بکنین حتما با آقای جویی پارسی مشورت بکنین باشون تماس بگیرین به پایان برنامه رسیدیم جایی جان خیلی ممنون از وقتت میدونم you're very busy thank you so much for thank joining you. us this Merci. morning on mom talk و به آخرین ویدیو کلیپی که در رابطه با giggles and hugs و 
به صلاح این که چجوری با شما میتونن تماس بگیرن تماشا میکنیم و بعد تا هفته آینده با شما خدافزی میکنیم روز و روزگار خوش و خدا نگهدار The Courtney Cox David Arquette split. David spilling marital sex secrets to Howard Stern. We have not had sex in four months or so. His Twitter apology. Little Coco in the middle. Should Courtney take him back? Then the biggest losers, Allison Sweeney, revealing new Molly diet secrets. And is it okay for screaming kids to be banned from restaurants? When we get inside the restaurant, the girls start crying and I have to leave. Marissa gets her own dad to take a side. I go out to dinner to get away from my kids. Let's start talking. Giggles and Hugs در میدیای آمریکا گل کرده در پیپلز مگزینز The Talk um, شوهای مختلف بوده و اگر که بیشتر میخواین آشنا بشین میتونین gigglesandhugs.com و با خود جوی پارسی در تماس باشین از طریق ایمیل و یا وبسایت ایشون روز روزگار خوش My name is Joey Parsi. I'm the founder and CEO of Giggles and Hugs. I know what it's like when you go out to eat with small children. It can be very, very challenging, to say the least. Giggles and Hugs was designed and founded upon the principle that we should not just cater to children's needs, but we should also cater to our own needs when we go out to a family restaurant. When you come to Giggles and Hugs, you will experience something that you've never experienced before. A magical, fun, relaxed restaurant designed for parents with children, whereby you can come and eat healthy, delicious, organic food like mac and cheese made with real cheddar cheese rather than processed powdered mac and cheese. Chicken Littles made with real chicken breast rather than processed chicken. We offer you our dressings and sauces that are prepared fresh daily. All the while, the kids get to play and run around in a giant 2,000 square foot play area filled with pirate chips, castles, nightly face painting, magic shows, puppet shows, music shows, concerts, and all kinds of fun activities and entertainment. Some of the biggest celebrities in Hollywood, people like Halle Berry, Jennifer Hudson, Adam Sandler, Mark Wahlberg, Shakira, and the likes, we count as our loyal customers. mentioned and featured in some of the most incredible national media, including the LA Times, LA Business Journal, Business Week, Forbes, Access Hollywood, Extra Entertainment Tonight, to name a few. If you would like to participate in our growth objectives and become an investor, you can contact us directly and or West Park Securities and they can provide you with all the information that you need in order to either invest in our stock as we are a publicly traded company or you may invest directly to the company and buy stock in a private placement.